Hey guys, it's Chris. A little bit of a depressed, more pissed off mood than anything. Okay, I've been on a Facebook auction group forever and a day. It's where I usually get most stuff I use to build. I get it dirt cheap. Never had a problem with them. Well, today I was on the auction. And they wanted me out of there. Come to find out, I'm on the good, bad traders list, so-called, on Facebook. Sorry, I'm bouncing you around like a damn basketball here. And it's from an incident about five years ago, ish. A guy was looking for parts and very specific parts that I was planning on building. But the money he offered me was damn well worth selling them. I took the money, I shipped the parts. I'd kept screenshots of the whole conversation, all the business we did. And sent him tracking. I even tracked it myself till it said it arrived. Well, once it says arrived, that's my end of the deal. Should be anyway. I should not be responsible after that. Well, I find out today I'm on that good, bad traders list under a bad trader. And there was a, another guy who complained about me. And I be, never even heard of the guy. So... I go looking him up, and he's running under a different name. He said I had gotten a kit from him, and I never paid for it. Well, that was from four years ago. I'd paid for the kit, because I went back through the messages. Clear back four years, I haven't heard from him since, and I proved I paid for it. So that one's out of there. But the other guy that said he didn't get his stuff. Well, five years, I tend not to keep a screenshot of a conversation that long. Now, if it was going to change world history, I might have. But, just makes me depressed. Makes me not even want to work on a model for... For quite a while, I don't know. I feel like just packing them up, put them in a huge box, and not look at them again for a while. It's stupidity. A person can lie and get you in trouble. What he was trying to do was he wanted something. I had it. He had to pay for it, and then he wanted his money back. So he got his stuff and was going to screw me. Stupidity and greed at its finest. In this so-called good bad traders list, you don't need, they don't need evidence to put you on it. But if you show them evidence to the contrary, you cannot get off of it. It's basically a kangaroo court. So, I don't know if I'll be building for a while. I don't know what's going to go on. It's stupid. It's depressing. It makes me want to give up and go find another hobby. But I know if I did that even, same thing could happen. Somebody has a paint by number I want. I buy it. Or I sell them a paint by number I got and they do the same exact thing. Who knows? 
But just my rant for the night. I'll talk to you later, guys. Have a good night.